Lock solid. Well, no, I guess this isn't what you signed up for when you decided to be a famous actor, is it? It's not my fault. I never wanted to be famous. Sorry, kiddo. That's not the way I remember it. But I didn't want to be famous. I wanted to go to school. Hey! It's true. All of those people cheering and applauding. I hated it. <gasps> What's happening, Jiminy? Looks like some sort of fairy magic. Kind of on the nose, if you ask me. But the point is, a lie can really change a person, Pinocchio. Which is why I'm telling you the 110% most honestly honest, truthiest truthiness ever. Believe me! Oops, okay, that last part wasn't true. But everything I said up until then was. Jiminy, you okay? More or less. Now quit telling those whoppers. I see a lost soul, an insect of no fixed address, an aimless vagabond hopping from hearth to hearth with no direction, no job, no prospects, and no purpose in life. Now look here, just because a fella sneaks into somebody's house to warm his backside and... Sure, he might have gotten kicked out of a place or two, but... <sighs> okay, you have a point. Here's the thing. Do you know the difference between right and wrong? You darn tootin' I do. I consider myself a bug of high moral standards, no matter what you may have heard. Well, that settles it then. Kneel, Mr. Cricket. I hereby appoint huh? you Pinocchio's conscience. Uh, temporary conscience. Sure, temporary conscience, until such time as Pinocchio may grow his own. Henceforth, you are the high keeper of the knowledge of right and wrong, and a trusted counselor during moments of temptation. Arise, Sir Jiminy Cricket. Hey! This is more like it. <laughs>